circuit. An LC circuit, also called a resonant circuit, tank circuit, or tuned circuit, is an electric circuit consisting of an inductor, represented by the letter L, and a capacitor, represented by the letter C, connected together. The circuit can act as an electrical resonator, an electrical analog of a tuning fork, storing energy oscillating at the circuit's resonant frequency. LC circuits are used either for generating signals at a particular frequency or picking out a signal at a particular frequency from a more complex signal. This function is called a bandpass filter. They are key components in many electronic devices, particularly radio equipment used in circuits such as oscillators, filters, tuners, and frequency mixers. An LC circuit is an idealized model since it assumes there is no dissipation of energy due to resistance. Any practical implement any practical implementation of an LC circuit will always include loss resulting from small but non-zero resistance within the components and connecting wires. The purpose of an LC circuit is usually to oscillate with minimal damping, so the resistance is made as low as possible. While no practical circuit is without losses, it is nonetheless instructive to study this ideal form of the circuit to gain understanding and physical intuition. For a circuit model incorporating resistance, see RLC circuit. So before I proceed with any more of the reading, I am going to basically take what I just read and take the definitions which admittedly I don't completely have understanding of and then define them and then maybe I will I will actually come back and reread that paragraph again this video is created for my own learning so forgive me if it's not necessarily following your train of thought but uh, here we go so the first definition that came up was resonator a resonator is a device or system that exhibits resonance or resonant behavior. That is, it naturally oscillates with greater amplitude at some frequencies called resonant frequencies than at other frequencies. The oscillations in a resonator can be either electromagnetic or mechanical, including acoustic. Resonators are used to either generate waves of specific frequencies or to select specific frequencies from a signal. Musical instruments use acoustic resonators that produce sound waves of specific tones. Another example is quartz crystals used in electronic devices such as radio transmitters and quartz watches to produce oscillations of very precise frequency. Resonance. Resonance describes the phenomena of amplification that occurs when the frequency of a periodically applied force is in harmonic proportion to a natural frequency of the system on which it acts. When an oscillating force is applied at the resonant frequency of another system, the system will oscillate at a higher amplitude than when the same force is applied at other non-resonant frequencies. Frequencies at which the response amplitude is a relative maximum are also known as resonant frequencies or resonance frequencies of the system. Band pass filter. A band pass filter, also band pass filter, or BPF, is a device that passes frequencies within a certain range and rejects, attenuates, frequencies outside that range. 
description. An example of an analog electronic bandpass filter is an RLC circuit, a resistor inductor capacitor circuit. These filters can also be created by combining a low pass filter with a high pass filter. Band pass is an adjective that describes a type of filter or filtering process. It is to be distinguished from pass band, which refers to the actual portion of affected spectrum. Hence, one might say a dual band pass filter has two ba pass bands. A band pass signal is a signal containing a band of frequencies not adjacent to zero frequency, such as a signal that comes out of a band pass filter. Electronic oscillator. An electronic oscillator is an electronic circuit that produces a periodic oscillating electronic signal, often a sine wave or a square wave. Oscillators convert direct current from a power supply to an alternating current, AC signal. They are widely used in many electronic devices, ranging from simplest clock generators to digital instruments like calculators, and complex computers and peripherals, etc. Common examples of signals generated by oscillators include signals broadcast by radio and television transmitters, clock signals that regulate computers, and quartz clocks, and the sounds produced by electronic beepers and video games. Oscillators are often characterized by the frequency of their output signal. A low-frequency oscillator, LFO, is an electronic oscillator that generates a frequency approximately 20 Hz. This term is usually used in the field of audio synthesizers to distinguish it from an audio frequency oscillator. An audio oscillator produces frequencies in the audio range about 16 Hz to 20 kHz. An RF oscillator produces signals in the radio frequency range of about 100 kHz to 100 gigahertz. Oscillators designed to produce a high power AC output from a DC supply are usually called inverters. There are two main types of electronic oscillators, the linear or harmonic oscillator and the nonlinear or relaxation oscillator. Electronic filter. Electronic filters are a type of signal processing filter in the form of electrical circuits. This article covers those filters consisting of lumped electronic components as opposed to distributed element filters, that is, using components and interconnections that, in analysis, can be considered to exist at a single point. These components can be in discrete packages or parts of an integrated circuit. Electronic filters remove unwanted frequency components from the applied signal, enhance wanted ones or both. They can be passive or active, analog or digital, high pass, low pass, band pass, band stop, band rejection, notch, or all pass, discrete time, sampled or continuous time, linear or nonlinear, infinite pulse resonance, or finite pulse resonance. Tuner radio. A tuner is a subsystem that receives radio frequency transmissions like radio broadcasts and converts the selected carrier frequency and its associated bandwidth into a frequency that is suitable for further processing, usually because a lower frequency is used on the output. Broadcast FM slash AM transmissions usually feed this intermediate frequency, IF, directly into a demodulator that convert the radio signal into audio frequency signals that can be fed into an amplifier to drive a loudspeaker. More complex transmissions like PAL, NTSC, DAB, DVB-T, DVB-S, DVB-C, digital TV, etc. use a wider frequency bandwidth, often with several subcarriers.
These are transmitted inside the receiver as an intermediate frequency, IF. The next step is usually either to process subcarriers like real radio transmissions or to sample the whole bandwidth with AD, analog to digital conversion, at a rate faster than the Nyquist rate. This is at least twice the IF frequency. A tuner can also refer to a radio receiver or a standalone audio component that are part of an audio system to be connected to a separate amplifier. The verb tuning in radio contexts means adjusting the radio receiver to receive the desired radio signal carrier frequency that a particular radio station uses. Frequency Mixer In electronics, a mixer or frequency mixer is a nonlinear electrical circuit that creates new frequencies from two signals applied to it. In its most common application, two signals are applied to a mixer and it produces new signals at the sum and difference of the original frequencies. Other frequency components may also be produced in a, in a practical frequency mixer. Mixers are widely used to shift signals from one frequency range to another, a process known as heterodyning. For convenience in transmission or further signal processing, for example, a component of a super heterodyne receiver is a mixer used to move received signals to a common intermediate frequency. Frequency mixers are also used to modulate a carrier signal in radio transmitters. Damping Ratio Damping is an influence within or upon an oscillatory system that has the effect of reducing, restricting, or preventing its oscillations. In physical systems, damping is produced by processes, processes that dissipate the energy stored in the oscillation. Examples include viscous drag in mechanical systems, resistance in electronic oscillators, and absorption and scattering of light in optical oscillators. RLC circuit. An RLC circuit is an electrical circuit consisting of a resistor, an inductor, and a capacitor, connected in series or in parallel. The name of the circuit is derived from the letters that are used to denote the constituent components of this circuit, where the sequence of the components may vary from RLC. The circuit forms a harmonic oscillator for current and resonates in a similar way as an LC circuit. Introducing the resistor increases the decay of these, of these oscillations, which is also known as damping. The resistor also reduces the peak resonant frequency. In ordinary conditions, some resistance is unavoidable, even if a resistor is not specifically included as a component. An ideal pure LC circuit exists only in the domain of superconductivity. A physical effect demonstrated to this point only at temperatures far below ambient temperatures found anywhere on the Earth's surface. So, that breaks down all of the different glossary definitions included in the LC circuit paragraph that first appears on Wikipedia. So now that I've defined them all, I'm going to reread the very first paragraph of an LC circuit or a tank circuit. So here I go again. An LC circuit, also called a resonant circuit, tank circuit, or tuned circuit, is an electric circuit consisting of an inductor, represented by the letter L, and a capacitor, represented by the letter C, connected together. The circuit can act as an electrical resonator, an electrical analog of a tuning fork, storing energy oscillating at the circuit's resonant frequency. LC circuits are used either for generating signals at a particular frequency or picking out a signal at a particular frequency from a more complex signal. This function is called a bandpass filter. 
They are key components in many electronic devices, particularly radio equipment used in circuits such as oscillators, filters, tuners, and frequency mixers. An LC circuit is an idealized model since it assumes there is no dissipation of energy due to resistance. Any practical implementation of an LC circuit will always include results. Start that sentence again. Any practical implementation of an LC circuit will always include loss resulting from small but not zero resi resistance within the components and connecting wires. The purpose of an LC circuit is usually to oscillate with minimal damping. <coughs> Excuse me. So the res so the resistance is made as low as possible. While no practical circuit is without losses, it is nonetheless instructive to study this ideal form of the circuit to gain understanding and physical intuition. For a circuit model incorporating resistance, see RLC circuit. Alrighty, well, there's this picture, which is an animated diagram, and it's on the Wikipedia page for LC Circuit. And I thought it would be a great learning tool if I broke down this animated GIF file and just read the description of the picture. And I'd like to do this really slowly. Really slowly. Animated diagram showing the operation of a tuned circuit. LC circuit. The capacitor C stores energy in its electric field E and the inductor L stores energy in its magnetic field B green. The animation shows the circuit at progressive points in the oscillation. The oscillations are slowed down in an actual tuned circuit the charge may oscillate back and forth thousands to billions of times per second. <laughs> 